Hello and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And today we're going to continue talking about red cell morphology and we're going to talk about a hemolytic anemia that's caused by malaria, in particular plasmodium falciparum. Mm. Yeah, so we saw a decent amount of this. Uh, uh, Melissa and I worked together uh, in several different uh, areas, <laughs> but we, sh we shared some lab work and um, we would see patients traveling through the area. We kind of live near a big hub, right? And uh, so you'll see falciparum uh, on occasion for sure. Um, and then we chose this particular field because it's such a great teaching field, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, it's a great field because here inside of this erythrocyte, we, there is an organism. And the organism has the little dot, and then you can see the ring kind of like this. And really this part of the ring is a little bit emphasized and the, the, the sides of it are not quite. So you can see that inside right here, mm -hmm. that drawing. It's a terrible drawing, I know, but that's okay. No, 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 I, I think that's, I think it's more than adequate. <laughs> Let, you, is, you do not want me doing the drawing. So you're very happy right now that Melissa is doing the drawing. <laughs> yeah, but that's a, a great organism there in its ring form. Um, if you see a gametocyte for falciparum, it's really I iconic. Um, yeah, it's, it's very characteristic. It's, it's unique to the other gametocytes in its shape. And, and it's commonly called the like a banana form or, and, and it, it, it has this curved, um, I'm actually thinking of a microbial organism. What is it, Vibrio that has uh, like the little, um, you know, so it, it's got a curved shape to it, this banana shape that is, if you see it, great. That makes your speciation just um, Easy. very, very simple. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you, you don't always get gametocytes um i believe the time of draw relative to the fevers so like um maybe this is a good time for us to talk about the patho a tiny bit uh, okay. about plasmodium so a blood parasite like this causes a hemolytic anemia uh, of sorts um and sometimes when you really want to find those sex cells, the gamete cells, um, the time that you draw it relative to fevers is important. So, um, you know, the, you'll see clinicians kind of tracking the fever spikes in the troughs mm -hmm. and coordinating the draw around the, that uh, physiology. Um, so yeah, what else does plasmodium falciparum it's generally noted as the the more aggressive of the malarial species do. Yeah. Frequently you can find red cells that have dual infection. So multiple organisms inside of one red cell. This guy, I mean, uh, this is obviously one organism, but it's more common to find that in falciparum compared to the other malarial species. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also, my mentor would describe them as being uh, more delicate than some of the other plasmodium species as well. And I take that to mean just kind of neater, prettier, um maybe a bit on the smaller kind yeah. of side also i think the the, the lines the ring is going to be mm -hmm. more thin finer i think that's also kind of a, a delicate feature right. and, and then of course the organism will break every rule we said mm -hmm. when you see it because <laughs> so. they don't read textbooks or watch these right. videos <laughs> that's right that's right i think the other thing is most of the time the organism is sitting in the hemoglobin Mm -hmm. not in the clearing that central pallor yeah. it doesn't like to sit in the central pallor it likes to sit in the hemoglobin with the oxygen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and then the other thing about this field that we didn't mention right so also in this field off to the i believe right hand side as you're viewing it uh we have a platelet on a red cell um this is classic when you first start teaching things like blood parasites and looking for inclusions the platelet on the red cell just ends up being like the uh, fly in the ointment, so to speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so what we can see contrasted here is um, once you're experienced and you see a platelet, you know a platelet, it doesn't matter where it is, right? But while we're learning, uh, a platelet on top of a red cell has this effect 
uh, it's displacing the volume of the red cell where it sits. So I think of sitting on a beanbag, right? Mm -hmm. And that immediate, immediate vicinity around where it's pressuring the red cell, the hemoglobin is going to be displaced. Mm -hmm. And as such, the color of the hemoglobin will be kind of um, bled out, so to speak. So you have this white halo around our platelet, and that gives me a clear indication this is something outside of the cell. And then we counter to the, the organism we see on the left, you can see where that organism is, although it's touching part of the central pallor, most of the organism is directly in the, the, the hemoglobin itself, right? There's no clearing around it, so. Absolutely. <clears throat> so I think that's the only organism in the field, but there's other morphologies here. There are, yep. Some that are some, somewhat common with blood parasites, right? Like, like echinocytes? Echinocytes. Echinocytes are classic with uh, all sorts of blood parasites, Plasmodium and uh, Babesia. Um, you'll see echinocytes. Um, we see some, some schistocytes, some red cell fragments too, Just on occasion. Got one right there, yeah. Yep. Um, I think there's some ovalos too. There's ovalo too, right? And, uh, I don't know necessarily like um, how that tracks. That might be just part of the anemia as it's developing. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely some morph going on here. Yeah. <clears throat> and then just for completeness, we have a neutrophil. A beautiful neutrophil, I might add too. You've got a big old vacuole right there. It does. It does. Let's, let's move fields and see if we can find another. Sure. Scanning. I'm scanning around. I don't see any over here. I'm just going to keep going then. Yeah. And this is part of the difficulty too of blood, like screening for blood parasites. And I remember when I was a young tech, I did uh, a standard CBC and red cell morphology on a patient and I missed a blood parasite infection. Um, you can go several fields without seeing them. Uh, we, we tend to get tunnel vision while doing diffs where we're maybe not looking at the red cells as we're doing our white cell differential, but, and there Melissa has found another bug. We got another fella. And again, he's, uh, or she, <laughs> or it <laughs> is on the kind of the periphery of the cell, right? Yep. Right here. You can see the, the little dots here and then the ring comes around like this over here. Yep, our chromin and dot, yep. yep. Yep, so there's just one in this field again. Uh -huh. So this guy, this, this not guy, this patient doesn't have a high parasitemia if there's right not one in every field, right? Or several in every field. There's, we gotta keep going to different fields to find these organisms. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there's a codocyte here. Mm -hmm. Really nice looking codocyte. Yep. There's some ovalocytes again. Mm -hmm. A couple of kinocytes. Yep. Kinocytes, sorry. Yeah. A kinocytes. I think that's it in this one. Isn't does I don't see a schistocyte around. And then I guess for completeness, we have a lymph. Mm -hmm. yep. <clears throat> what about in the bottom of the field there? We have like a um, some might call like a helmet cell or something. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think he's small enough to be a schistocyte. Right. I think he's he's kind of like a helmet cell, kind of like a bite cell. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind. He's kind of like, it's weird. So helmet cells usually kind of look like this and have their little... They have a little tab, don't they? Tab like this, and then they yeah. kind of come. Not a sickle, but a, a little yeah. helmet cell. It kind of looks like <laughs> you when you have those little floppy winter hats. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I thought of like uh, World War II, uh, Saving Private Ryan. They have the, okay. the, like the, the buckles. Yes. The, yep. uh, yeah. The buckles, yeah, that yeah. works. So that's a helmet cell. And then versus a bite cell, whereas you have a cell, I and mean, it just looks like you took a bite out of it, right? So bite cell. 
Mm-hmm. And the, the size of the bite depends on what was what's there, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, right, so right, right. It, it kind of looks like almost, I guess it's more of a helmet cell, but this little bump here is just kind of odd. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe he's yeah. just the bizarre cell. Bizarre cell. That's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our catch-all. Yep, yep. <laughs> he doesn't fit into any of our other our other categories. Or as our students would say, he's a, kip, a skip-a-site. Skip-a-site. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's move to the next one. Nobody's here. All right, I'm going to go a little bit deeper. I feel like I'm coming to an edge. Yeah, and we can definitely see that this is not high parasitemia. Easy to miss. Um, oh, here's another one. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, I did. And again, hugging the periphery there. Small organism. Yeah, yeah. and I'm just going to play with that fine tune a little bit. That's a little bit much, but a little bit so that you can try to see the the ring where you have the, the chromatin dot here and then the ring around like that and right. the, the dot stains purple and then the ring stains like a light blue mm-hmm. right yeah so that's why yep. it's, it's a little bit harder to see the ring because it's such a fine ring for falciparum in in this case for the these parasites in particular that it's harder to see the ring easier to see the dot but then it's easy to confuse with a howl jolly body Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. cool yeah so there's our organism again and then like before there's a few schistocyte there's a, a fisher site <laughs> <laughs> he's a schistocyte but he looks like a fishy with little tails mm-hmm. there's some echinocytes ovalocytes on this the far looks, side there yeah this one looks more like a helmet so Yep. Yeah, he looks much more like a helmet cell. And then this one looks like a bite cell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Channeling its inner Pac-Man. Right. Cool. Let's go one more just so for completeness and see. Sure. At least one more organism. So I'll just keep scooching until I find an organism. Mm-hmm. There's a giant platelet here. And notice he has little pseudopods coming off. Mm-hmm. He's a little pseudopods here coming off and little blebs. And then he's got this central area that has all of his alpha granules. There's no nucleus there. It's just alpha granules. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and then the platelet count does appear to be a little lower too. And th- does that happen with blood parasite infections? Yeah. Frequently, frequently the platelets are clumped when you look at them in blood parasites. And then here's our other guy. And again, I'll just play with that fine tune so you can see. He's got his dots here, and then he's got a ring like this. Mm. Yeah, some of them can be kind of challenging to see. Yeah. But those extra couple seconds scanning a field yeah. can mean the difference to seeing them and not. Absolutely. So for other more, obviously we would call the, blo- the blood parasite as being here and present. Mm-hmm. Um, typically for routine heme, we just say there's a blood parasite and then it goes off to wherever is going to do the speciation. Yep. So it would get sent off. But for calling, uh, I, we would call blood parasites. Mm-hmm. Maybe one plus ovalos, one plus mm-hmm. the kinos, you think? Yes. Yeah, they've been pretty consistent. Maybe mild in some fields, but they've been fairly consistent. Would you call schistos? This, I haven't been keeping count, um, but they, they do seem to be around. Um, how I do you feel? Them consistently in every field. I just don't know that there's enough of them. Yeah. So it kind of might be variable, the call, depending on... Yeah institution and yep. procedure and i don't think there's enough helmet or bite cells or bizarre cells to call mm. they're there in low numbers but i don't think i'd call them mm. 
right. So that was this uh, malarial plasmodium falciparum slide. And I think that's all for this one. So thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like notifications whenever we post a new video. And feel free to reach out to us on social media or via email with comments or suggestions about future content. Thanks.